Yes, sir, we are giving you the projects that are going on in Onicha, probably Onicha metropolitan area. You know, as time goes on, you need to do assessment of uh, what is going on. Just like uh, somebody that has been to school, after some time, after first time, there will be results. So we have decided to give you the updates of the uh, projects that are going on in uh, on each child loan. We are not including Oka, we are not including, uh, we are not including Okulobia, just specifically on each child. Some you are familiar with, probably very few you are not familiar with them. So, but in this video, you are going to see them. So, you viewers are the ones that are going to give us the report card, write the report card, let's see what you have to offer. So, but please, um, I don't want you to be sentimental about it. Just give us the real thing as we used to do in this channel. What we are after is something that is befitting. We are not here to rub powder and uh, rub cream, no. We are here to say the truth and do the right thing. Let government know that uh, yes, we are following what they are doing or we are following their progress in the states. Like we are used to do in this channel, where government is doing well, we praise them. Wherever they fail, we tell them blatantly. We don't hide mouth, we don't uh, mince words when we tell them. And honestly speaking, I know that they are watching. They are seeing what we are doing and they are watching it. Because some of the things you guys have said has come to pass. So I, for one, I am going to be neutral in this. My own is just to present the situation of uh, a particular project that we are talking about and then you make a conclusion that is the way it's going to be sometimes i'll be tempted to make uh, some statements well i think is acceptable so but majorly majorly i will leave it for you guys to make a conclusion so but in addition to what i have said each project that i come across i will tell you the condition of that project if it has been concluded or not and uh, if it's assumed to be concluded what level of conclusion is that project is the road asphalted with street light or without street light does it have traffic lights has it been marked so i will tell you the level of and you will even see the level of uh, conclusion to that project by yourself so that's what we are going to do and that's the way we are going to do it today so what you do is to sit back and relax while i roll out these things and uh, it is still me chinedu your presenter so let's go to the field Viewers, uh, we have taken pains in this channel, Younger Life channel, to give you compilation of projects that are going on in Onicha. Onicha and the Onicha metropolitan areas. So we are bringing it to you live today, but I want to let you know that please make sure that you watch this video from beginning to the end so that you don't give incomplete statements there are some statements that you make i will know that uh, this person did not get the full information and i may not want to answer it so but when i see somebody that got the full information from the video and talk then i know that this person is with us that the person follows what you are doing by then you answer that person correctly 
Well, I want to give this warning, just like I said, watch it from beginning to the end so you don't give um, half or incomplete information. And we've tried as much as possible to give you the whole projects that are going on in Onicha presently. And that is what we have done. Now, you are at the Jera Hospital, Oboko. The one you are watching now is the Jera Hospital, Oboko. The level of job done so far here is almost completed. Why I put almost completed is that the landscaping is yet to be done presently. But the paintings are going on. In fact, um, they have concluded in their painting. And uh, it remains some um, finishing touches there. But the work is almost done and dusted and uh, has to be equipped. That is the level so far with this job. Well, so many people criticize this um, hospital the first time I brought it. Well, partially, I too, though I did not criticize it in the video, but I, I understand what they are talking about. Presently in Anambra State, well, well, we need to do something once and for all this time. Not a kind of uh, palliative work. That's what people are complaining, that this hospital is supposed to be an upstairs. Instead of doing it just ground floor work, it's supposed to be upstairs, two-story building, so that it can accommodate more. You know, people are smarter now, people are, you know, um, more enlightened now. They will know when you want to give them bobo, bobo drink to drink and forget the things that they, they needed. They will know. And uh, people are more just like I said, they are more enlightened now than they will speak. People will talk. Even though in a nutshell, that is an improvement from what it used to be because there is no hospital here before. Someone may look at it, wow, there is hospital now here. Then many other people are talking about making it to be standard. That a number of states can do it. Why didn't they do it? Well, I'm just giving you lowdown from what the fallout from that um, upload then is there in this channel. You can check it up, go through it and check when I posted the General Hospital Oboko. So next project is, um, many of you are not aware of this project, but uh, I will explain. This is in Subway. In Subway, there is a project there. I don't know whether it's Obi or not that started it or Soludo, but the project looks to be abandoned. It looks to be abandoned when we visited there last and for the first time and the last time we visited the the project looks to be abandoned this project leaks that a three three axis or um Tsube to abaka GRA. and through abaka GRA, someone can move straight into my market through ose you see it you see how important this road is it connects, you know, so many population are living in that Timpula Axis, Transinkisi, GRA, all those um, GRA areas. So many people are living there, Abaka Forest. So traffic are coming from there into Onicha. This road, I believe, it is meant to divert some traffic 
from that uh, territory road to Onicha. Is meant to divert that traffic to follow here. So if you follow here from Musube, Tretri area, you are going straight into my market. But the road, I honestly, when we pass through this road to see the end, at a point we cannot see anything going on there. In fact, I'm not sure that we saw any machine, excavator there. So meaning that the road is uh, somehow abandoned last time we visited. Very, very important road. And uh, I remember so many people criticized this road that uh, they shouldn't make it to be tiny this way. That the road is supposed to be dual carriageway, which I think I said it also. This road is an important road is supposed to be dual carriageway. You see, these things, if we are after our own betterment, all these things, we don't need to be saying all these things. These things, these things are not, you know, something that is difficult to understand. But you know, our politicians now, they want to do something that, um, you know, people will see that uh, they are doing something. But actually, this road is supposed to be dual carriageway. So that in the next hundred years, people will not have problem of movement from this axis into Onicha. Now we have been talking about dualizing that uh, Unkwele road, Pujiare to Unkwele. We have been talking about it. If people have been smart enough to dualize it at the initial time, you know, cities are not something that uh, you do based on present situation, even. Even your life self, you shouldn't work based on present. You think ahead, you walk ahead. That's what human beings should be doing. You think ahead, you walk ahead. Except if we are not serious over these things, of which I see that we are not serious over these things. If we are to reason ahead, to think ahead, there are just some few probably houses or buildings that encroach then the government will knock it off and dualize this road yeah i don't see anything wrong about that okay um excavator is there working yes uh, at this point they are working okay probably they are not fast in what they are doing Probably that's what really happened. Probably they are too slow. You can see maybe one or two machines are there on the sides. And these kind of places are very important that uh, the governor is supposed to visit. You can see the road is very, very tiny. In fact, it just look, looks like uh, an escape route. It doesn't seem to be a normal road. Well, I don't know. I don't know. We need to change the way we think. It's not everything about politics. Yes, politics is good. You do things to, you know, gain people's uh, mind and support towards you. But that level, there are some level it will reach. Then some level of people will not buy that idea. So it's always good to do something that will buy the idea, the mind of a majority of the people. Okay, now this road, as long as this road is now, it's just about one or two machines that are here, of which is not supposed to be. I remember we moved down, down, down into Abaka Jiarue. This road is very important. From here now, you'll be looking at River Niger at a point. You'll be overseeing River Niger and Asaba at the same time.
So from here now, you are looking at back of uh, Apaka GRA. And the GRA is extending. Still coming down, you can see the back. And also back of Federal House, you know. Federal Housing has the back here. Far, far there is Federal Housing. Meanwhile, down here is Apaka GRA. That's how it works. And that's how it is. So, but the far right is the uh, River Niger. Far right, if you look, I don't know if you can see it from here. You can see River Niger. Okay, maybe you need to climb up a bit. But, but by the right there is River Niger. And from here, if you look very far, you can see the first Niger Bridge. Well, they should know how to um, level up this place so that it, the hill will not be so much. That's the way they will blend it, bring up that uh, valley. They need to bring it up a bit or if possible, there should be a bridge that will connect this place. If not, some heavy duty vehicles cannot pass through here, except if they don't want such to happen. And that slope is very steep. You can see River Niger here. Now look at River Niger very clear. You can see it. So, so we are going into Abaka area from back so that you see the connection, the link. So from here now we have entered the Abaka area properly and this road if you take it straight you are going to come out at the gate of the entrance into Abaka area from there straight into Onicha main market. So that is all about uh, Nsubwe Abaka Onicha main market road. So viewers, now we are bringing to you Oboko. Oboko has so many roads going on there. And uh, that is uh, Oboko for you. The governor has a special attention that he's giving to Oboko. Because he wants to discourage slum. And uh, it is part of the uh, United Nations decade of action concerning the disappearance of uh, slum people have to consciously develop slums in any area so that they can disappear so governor saludo is keen in into the united nations decade of action if i were him i would package this uh, project that uh, he is doing and uh, you know submit to united nations so that they will know that he is keen in into their action well this is oboko and um, since the contractor handling oboko was changed there is a significant change in oboko presently 
So this is Oboko. So many roads are going on inside Oboko. Not one, not two, not three, not four. Some have been completed. Some lines, some streets have been completed. Some are yet to be completed. You know, Oboko is housing the General Hospital, just like I said. And I've showed you the General Hospital. That is the first project that we showed you.
so like this one in oboko is one of the major roads in oboko but it's still under construction i think the road runs from um Onishawere road somewhere it connects down to inside oboko So, but some roads are ongoing, some are yet to be marked, many are yet to be marked, and uh, we are yet to confirm if there are street lights except the old ones that are here. Street lights are yet to be installed, if there are plans to do that, or repair the old ones.
Well, uh, this is uh, on Chambe Market Road coming from Bridget, that is Niger Street. Well, like we used to say, sand has overtaken this road and uh, we are afraid that it's going to get damaged soon if nothing is done to save this road and other roads in our nature. So, but, uh, you know, we thought it twice to even show you the part of the uh, demolition that happened some few weeks ago in Onicha along that uh, coastal line. Well, uh, it's part of the uh, job that the government is doing. They have demolished this coastal line and if you see it now, it's very clear and uh, sweet. Even though there are plans, according to the government, to establish a beach resort. There are plans to have a beach resort here. So many people we are in support of this demolition. So many, almost uh, 99% are in support of the demolition to show you that people really supported the government to demolish that place and use it for something that is more you know um, resourceful for the state and people we are saying that everywhere can be markets the way market is springing up everywhere needs to be checkmated. Government should keep constant watch on these markets and the shanties around our cities. So people, we are very much happy to see these things knocked off.
Viewers, this one is uh, Oba. You know, Oba is part of uh, our nature metropolis. Yes, Oba is just um, a stone throw from our nature. Obosi Oba. Then uh, OM Mbo. Nsugwe. Ogidi. Obaru. All these things, all these places I mentioned are part of the uh, nature metropolis. So this erosion site is under the control of uh, the state government. The state government is the one handling this erosion site control. But uh, I just hope that uh, the job is well done. If not, if it's not properly channeled, Iration might continue from where the channeling stopped. So this one is at Oba, along on each other road. You can see the other. This lane has been recovered. Earlier on, this lane was uh, this lane now was knocked off. Erosion eat deep inside this lane. So, but it has been it has been recovered now. So, but the situation of this job is uh, nearing completion. But uh, I am not happy with something. The channeling where it ended is not supposed to. They are supposed to channel it down into a river. Just like I said earlier, if they don't do it well, the erosion, the gully will continue from where they stopped. And see where they stopped it it's not even far from the road that is the only issue i have but the job is about 70 percent completed to me that's my own assessment it's not the official assessment from the government of anambra state So the next project now is the Creek Road. Creek Road is quite an important road. It connects Zix Avenue near Ochanja Market and the Niger Street. It connects these two roads. 
and also from it there are off roads that are connected to it so but the road now is um think is almost uh, completed because last time we came it was uh, they have laid this stone base they are asphalting so i know that within these few days that uh, they must have been done with asphalt and uh, what about road markings street lights traffic lights all these places that has junction there is need to install a traffic control lights and um, I don't know like I was told that there are plans by the government of Anambra state to still take care of uh, the drainages that are open I don't know we are yet to see how they are going to do it but I have the feelers that there are plans to handle that that is going to come together with a complete and sizable walkway so if that is going to happen that is a wonderful and good idea coming from the state government So we are done with the creek road uh, we are going to move into um Iweka road probably So now this is the Iweka Road. You know, initially I was of the opinion that this place is a very busy place. The government should have done it with a flyover. Honestly speaking, yeah, beautification is good, but traffic traffic movement should come first before beautification. Traffic, the movement of vehicles and the uh, human beings ought to come first before beautification. So when we solve the problem of traffic, we now talk about beautification. I have said this thing several times, countless number of times. This junction that leads to Zigs Avenue, Mem Market, Opiweka, it has to be fly. I should be a fly over here probably i don't know the cost implication is what the government is looking at but we are looking at solving these problems once and for all governor saludo cannot finish everything but at least there are some key things uh, you know he has to get his hands done so far that he has moved machine on this uh, Weka road the right thing is to fly this place so 
so that vehicles can have free movement. Mem market is a very busy market and the kind of movement that people have here is terrible. I wonder how they can be negotiating this roundabout, you know, maneuvering the roundabout all the time on a newly constructed road like this. If there is need for government to borrow, let them borrow the money and construct. And I don't need to do any cheap construction in road. Yes, Soludo is trying, he has the structure and he's doing his best. And uh, being the professor in economics, he is, you know, he's trying to manage. But no need for this. Let him get the money and do it once and for all. Well, um, uh, having said that, we are still moving up uh, Iweka Road. The dualization is just from uh, Modebero Junction and uh, Ochanja roundabout. The dualization is now up to 200 meters or thereabouts. So, but contrary to what we thought, we thought it's going to continue from here. If it had continued from that uh, Modebero up to Iweka, um, uh, um, uh, up Iweka interchange that would have solved a whole lot of problems or dualize or fly the place that roundabout supposed to have a fly over there okay let's proceed Well, initially, we just showed you some uh, part of um, uh, you know, demolition, where they did demolition at uh, Niger Street. But now we want to show you some major part of Niger Street, you know, being part of the road constructed by uh, Governor Soludo. Well, I used to say that we are surprised how sand have overtaken this road. Even the road markings are being covered by sand. And nothing is being done to keep this place clean up to today. Well, that is um, a negative sign. And uh, I don't know if there are plans to keep these roads clean up to now. We've not seen any reasonable plan going on 
even though we have the feelers that uh, the sweeping machines have arrived but we are not sure until we see these things being put in use the level of sand on this road i'm afraid is going to affect this road very soon Well, uh, I think we are done with um, Niger Street. This is the main market area and uh, it's still not kept clean. Well, we are moving into Portacot Road. Port this is the Portacot Road. Or um, uh, if you see this place when it is newly constructed and marked, you will love this place. But now see, sand has overtaken the whole road just in a matter of uh, days or weeks everything has changed and be looking as if uh, it's an old road but the road is just fresh from the factory and uh, see the way it is looking well our own is to point out these things the government own is to do the needful
Well, uh, we are still moving along Portacot Road. Portacot Road connects Opiweka in Touchange and uh, Niger Street. That is how it works. And uh, so many big time markets are located along this Portacot Road at the beginning. Even though I'm of the opinion, I've been saying it, that uh, the Obosisi Obosisi ought to have been moved from there. Oborod also. I don't know why the building materials was established. I don't know if Oborod people are not part of it. But they needed to be located to a better place. Second Niger Bridge is very free and uh, you know that's the kind of road that these guys need to be using. Trailers, they need special place like uh, the Second Niger Bridge. So if possible, Oboro should be located somewhere at Oba, Obosi, uh, or Rifite, all those places, you know, to make them have a better way of uh, movement instead of squeezing themselves inside these uh, built up areas to offload and offload you know making the movement of vehicles on this place to be difficult you don't understand what i'm saying until you come around this floor if you know this place you should know what i'm saying Movement around this market or borrowed timber market is always difficult. Those two markets need to move that place. My market may remain or even located. That's how cities are being planned. After some time, they move them to another place to, you know, to develop that axis. Now we are done with uh, Portacourt Road and uh, Portacourt Road still has uh, street lights though the one we are now is um, Silas Walks. This is Silas Walks Road. It connects to Portacourt Road. But Portacourt Road has street lights but this one doesn't have street lights but it is marked. And there is no installation of uh, traffic control light though that one may come later there may be plans for it but for now we have not seen any place that has traffic control light well we are done with that we are into Oboduku Road this one now is Oboduku Road like I said we have taken pains to compile this construction so please if you have not subscribed to this channel click on the subscription button and the notification bell like this video don't forget to share this video this is the only thing you can do for this channel you people are not sharing our videos the way it's supposed to share it share it let people see and bring their own contribution towards what we are discussing so well done as you do that let's proceed this is oboduku road and uh, we are applying oboduku road now coming from atani road junction towards uh, on each other road termination oboduku road uh, we thought that they are going to dualize it but it was not it was not dualized it was just a kind of um, about 100 meters place they divided it into two but Oboduku is not dualized and Oboduku too um, they need to clear the Sakamori they need to clear the drainage system to help these roads to last if not water will be flowing on top of this road in an unexpected way and it may cause damages to the road
uh, waste management is still a very big issue in the state. Something has to be done up to now. Nothing serious has been done towards that. And uh, some people are responsible for this. Um, well, I don't know. What is needed is that there should be more people to be employed in cutting away this waste. People make their own contribution. People pay for sanitation. People that have businesses, residential places, they pay. So what is the issue with this waste management? What is the real issue with this that we cannot handle waste properly in the state? Well, um, I think with this Obodoku Road, this should be the last place we are going to visit for you. And um, having brought so many roads and projects to you to this time, I wish to thank you for watching. And uh, I still remain Chinedu, your presenter, until I come your way next time. But please finish up the video and we want to hear what you think about this video and what you think about the job done so far by the government while I say bye for now.